This is crazy. The narcissist takes so much from you. They take your time, your power, your energy, your love, your kind, compassion, your empathy, and the list goes on. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can master the narcissist. Yes, that's right, you've heard me right. You can master the narcissist. Watch this video and I'm gonna tell you how. Hello and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. So in this video, guys, I'm gonna tell you how you can master the narcissist. Yes, that's right. You master them, not the other way around. Oh, the tables have turned. I'm gonna teach you techniques and tips on how you get your power back and you master the narcissist so that basically you are in control. So as we know, narcissists love to be in control. They will manipulate situations and people so that everything works out the way that they want it to. But no more. This is how you get your own power back. This is ultimately about taking your time, your energy, and that emotional validation that you give to the narcissist, you take this back. And the way that you do that is by not thinking about them. Now, I know that this is not an easy concept because when you're en energetically like connected to somebody, it makes it really difficult to disconnect. It's not impossible, but yes, it's difficult when you are not in the right mindset. So this is about altering and changing your mindset and how you see this situation. Right, so the narcissist isn't who they kind of pretend to be at the beginning of this relationship. That is something that you really have to understand. They are not that person. So the moment that you understand that what they're doing is they're showing you the illusion, this will help you to kind of stabilize yourself and soothe yourself. Because what you're always trying to remember is the narcissist is this nice person, you know, like they're amazing, they're your soulmate. No, that's the illusion. No, what you need to do is understand that they are toxic and what they are doing is they're trying to get their own needs met. So what you do next is then you realize that nothing that you can say or do would have changed this situation. There is not one successful healthy relationship with a narcissist on this whole entire planet earth honestly there is never in the all the time that i have been doing videos working with clients from narcissistic abuse there is not one successful healthy narcissistic relationship what does that tell you like because it's not possible you know you can search the web you can search youtube try to find out whether there is but honestly, I'll tell you something. No, these people are toxic and they have problems with interpersonal relationships. So they can't connect to people in a healthy way and they can't disconnect from people in a healthy way. So what you need to understand is nothing that you could have said or done would have changed this situation. So the fact that you're giving your energy, your kindness, your love to this person isn't going to change anything they are not going to change it's not in their interest to change you know why because if they're getting their needs met which is the attention the care the emotional validation why would they need to change their needs are getting met and ultimately that's all they want in this situation that's all they need is for you to just supply them give them you're basically like their emotional slave so the fact that you'll keep supplying this and keep serving their needs basically means that you're giving the narcissist what they want. Now imagine this, imagine you take that away from them. Think about what's gonna happen to the narcissist then, the dynamics of that kind of interaction. They're not gonna know what to do with themselves. You're gonna be met with rage, with expectation, you know, like you, that you have to supply it, you have to give it. This is what they want from you. This is what this is what they're expecting from you. And the fact that you're not giving it, they're not going to like it. So this is going to destabilize them. They're going to try and make you give that to them. And what you're doing is that you're taking, can you see what you're doing? You're taking your power back. 
because you're in control. You're deciding whether you want to give them what they are asking or what they are taking from you or what they are stealing from you. They don't ask, they just take. So when you're taking your power back, your time, your attention, your compassion, your emotional validation, you know, all of these things is what the narcissist craves. This is why they picked you. This is why they wanted you. They are predatory and this is why they have picked someone like you because they know that they will get their needs met. So once you understand that this is what is going on, this will make it easier for you then to kind of rejiggle or like comprehend that you are the one that has always been in control, but they have made you believe that they are. They have made you believe that you are not important, that you don't matter, when actually that is projection and it's the reverse. Actually, you do really matter. Actually, they do actually really need you. And if you don't supply that, if you don't give that, sure, they'll go and look for it elsewhere from somebody else. But can you see how fragile they actually are? Because they're not getting what it is that they need. So they're looking for it in other people. They, they see you probably as kind of like main supply or the main person that would give them or supply them with this. So, this, so the people that they're looking for out there are just are not gonna give them the same kind of validation that you do. So that's why you are such a pivotal figure, you know, in the narcissist's life. You've also got to understand if you're not even with them, they are going to be also trying to get elements of that, meaning they will use negative reinforcement. So possibly they will be devaluing you. They will probably be smear campaigning you you know, talking badly about you to others. But again, even though this is negative, they're still thinking and still talking about you. So that vibrational exchange, that energetic exchange that is happening is still there. So if you are someone that, for example, is experiencing, you know, this negative kind of exchange with the narcissist, again, same rule applies. You master this by taking your own energy back, your own attention, the love and the kindness, you remove it from them. Okay, all of that time that you are spent thinking about them, you are supplying them energetically and emotionally with something that they need. And they are, they are like emotional vampires because they just take, they siphon this from you. So what you have to do is change the way that you think about this, change the way that you view this situation and understand that actually you have the power over this situation. They need you. They need this from you. So whether they're getting it from in a positive way or a negative way, it doesn't matter. They're still getting that from you. So that, so what you have to remember is that you are the one in control. You have to block this. You have to cut this off because there is no end. They're gonna expect this and want this from you. There is no end to this. They want it, so they'll take it. You have to, if you can, go no contact in these situations. You have to block and protect you know, your peace, protect your energy, because it really does work on that. Narcissists are predatory. They're gonna take, they're looking for people like you. All right? They looked for someone like you who has these qualities, who is kind, who is going to supply, who is going to give all of this freely with love, you know, so lovely, so kind. But they don't see it as that. They see you as a target. They see you as someone that they don't have to, it doesn't present a challenge for them. The easier you give it to them, the more that they expect it and the more that they have no regard for you. Because why shouldn't you give it? You did before, like why aren't you giving it now? So can you see, there is never going to be this reciprocal kind of dynamic going on here. This is an expectation that they want you to give that to them. That is what's going on here. That is what's happening. So the way that you counteract this is like I said, you've got to, you've got to stop thinking. And the way that you do that is you reconnect to yourself. What is it that you like doing? What makes you happy? Which people that you need to be with that make you happy, that lift your, lift your spirits, lift your energy, make you feel good? Does that mean going out into nature? That would be really good, actually. Going out into nature, connecting with the positive and natural energy, 
you know, hanging out with your friends or family, people that make you feel good, people that uplift you. Because this is going to help you to, to settle your emotions, get you back to a, to a foundational level that makes you feel good about yourself. You remove that attention and that care that you're giving to them. And you give that to yourself. It's not impossible. It just means that you've got to reframe the way that you think about this. And this is the only way that you are going to be able to get over this situation, get over this person and move on with your life. These people take from you. They're stealing this from you. And it's not theirs to take. But they, but they steal it from you because they are entitled. They believe that they, that they can have this. And it's not right because it's yours. They're taking away your time your energy, your love, your compassion, and they're blocking other people that need to come into your life or maybe other people that want to give you that care, that love, and that attention. So stop allowing them to block this. Stop allowing them to steal this from you because this is yours. This is your birthright. This is your life force energy that you are not willing to give. That You know, like they have taken more than you are willing to give. So these are the things that you need to think about. This is how you master the narcissist. That's how they mastered you, by stealing from you, by taking from you. Now you master it by taking it back and knowing that this is your commodity. This is yours to keep. This is yours to have. Narcissists can't do this for themselves. They can't, they, they can't have or produce or be happy. So they take it from other people. And they believe that it's theirs to take. So that's what I mean, guys. You take it back because it's yours. I really hope that this video has helped. And I really hope that you are able to master the narcissist. Because this is your birthright. This is how you get away. This is how you need to get away. All right? So if you are someone that maybe is going through something like this, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. And also I do offer a mentorship program, which is coming very, very soon. Please check the description box for details. And also I do offer a journal club, which I offer journal prompts every Monday. This is great if you are someone that is in therapy already or you're receiving counseling. This could be a great tool to work alongside that to help you to kind of understand yourself better and work through some things that maybe you are going through. And join a supportive community. And I do lives every Tuesday, so please join them. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.